Okay, you are in the kitchen with Jelly 007, also known as John Sanders. And tonight in the Ninja Foodie, we're going to steam a lobster. And here he is. I just got back from Panama City where I was able to get some pretty neat seafood. And uh, what I mean by steam, and, and the Ninja is the only thing I have here that will do it. I mean, including Instant Pots and all of my other pressure cookers, none of them steam, if you ask me except the ninja i'm fixing to show you what i mean by that so y'all hold on i'll be right back i'll bring y'all around set you right here and let you see what i mean by that because it's pretty important i'll be right back okay so this is a little over a pound lobster it's a spiny lobster it's a type it's the type that grow in florida so what we're going to do is set him right in there just like that i'm going to put this 12 ounce beer right in the pot with him. Well, we're going to steam him in beer. I'm also going to add about a cup and a half of water. And it's because, when you see what I mean, the ninja steams. I'm not pressure cooking him. I'm steaming him. So I need a little extra water because it's going to be releasing uh, liquids. And I don't want to uh, get that there. And I was fixing to put the wrong lid on. We're going to put the lid on. Now here's the important part. This part right here, I gotta make sure you can see what I'm doing, and I think you can right there. This vent, when you steam with the Ninja, and not, I mean, the, no other uh, electric pressure cooker I have at my house, including the Instapot, does this. You put it to the vent uh, position. You don't seal it, you put it to the vent. Where, it, when you steam with the other ones that I've read about, all the ones I know about, you seal it. So you're really not steaming. You're pressure cooking. So that's what the Ninja does that I think is very important. All right, now I'm going to press steam. And then I'm going to go 15 minutes on that one pound lot, or a little over a pound, about a pound and a tenth, I'd say. We're going to go to 15 minutes. Got the lid locked to vent. Going to press start. That should take about 10 to 12, 15 minutes to come up to to what it starts counting down. And if you try this in a, in say an Instant Pot, if you leave it on vent, it'll never start counting down. That's what the Ninja does different. It really steams, it doesn't pressure. Now sometimes the pin will come up, but a lot of times it don't, but it doesn't matter. It's never building pressure because this vent's open. But anyhow, we'll cut to the chase. We're gonna get this going. When we get done, we're gonna take a temp read to make sure he's like 140 or so. And, uh, the, see what he's like. Y'all hold up. Be right back. Okay, I wanted to show something right quick. It took about 12 minutes, first of all, for it to come up and start counting down. And as you can see, the pin is down. And it, it has been. But every once in a while, as the burner, as the heating element comes on, the, the pin will come up. And I think it might be about to now. But the vent's open. There it comes. But the vent is open, so it's not really developing pressure. It's not like it's being pressure cooked, but you see the pin is up and the vent is open. It, but it just regulates it excellently. It'll sit there a minute and then that pin will drop back down. It's a, it's a great device for steaming. Now the next thing is, I carried this to Florida with me because I was going to buy this lobster because they're so time sensitive. You don't want to keep them uh, anywhere, even on ice, if they're not alive. And a lot of times these spiny lobsters are not alive when you get them. So I carry this with me to cook lobsters and freeze them or put them on ice after they're cooked to make them more safe. But I hit some snags. I kicked a breaker or two because I had too many things plugged in. It was my bad, but now I know. And next time I go, I'll have my act together a little bit better. But that is a really good idea if you want to go to Florida and buy lobsters that are not live or you know and then you can freeze them or put them on ice till you get home but anyhow we're waiting another seven minutes and 51 seconds and we're going to see what this one looks like and do a temp read be right back okay so we're coming up on the end of the 15 minutes and you can see at this particular moment the pin is not up there it is so we're gonna give it a minute just because it's got some pressure i hear it hissing but we're good and now we're going to i'm going to set this in the sink and 
and we're going to pull him out of there. Take a temp read. And like I said, this is the second lobster I've done tonight. And uh, the rest of them I've read well. I've been doing them all at 15 minutes. The other one was a little bit bigger. But let's just see what we get. Well, you know what? I need to set that camera a little different. We're going to see what we get with the thermopin. And plenty 170. In fact, that's that's way higher than what I've been getting. So this smaller one may have needed uh, a little less time. But I'm 180, and 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 I did read where one person rec one place recommended 165. So, and I'm nowhere near the center. I saw one 180. It's tricky to hit the dead center, and you can see I'm going higher as I go down. So I'm somewhere around 180 degrees, and and honestly, uh, 160 would have been great for me, but in that tail right there, I'm 180, and uh, that would have been uh, a little more than I want. And it, I'll be honest with you, it's really hard to figure a place to get it, because there's 190. 184, 183, and 177 is about as low as I can get it right there, 176. So, for a one pound lobster, 15 minutes might be a little bit much, but it, it's not a big deal. All I'm doing is cooking it just to eat later. And now I'm gonna do is get it covered with ice, get it cooled down, and I'm going to uh, freeze it, and then heating it up is a hundred different ways. I can do it on the on the grill. I can do it in the oven. I can do it in the Ninja on steam. I can sous vide. There's a lot of ways, in other words. There's a lot of ways to reheat a cooked lobster, and they're a lot safer to handle. Now, that one-pound lobster might not need it 15 minutes. I agree. But I'm not off bad. I'm off by maybe 15 degrees. Uh, of, of what they call for. I want 160 and I got 175 so no big deal. Uh, as soon as it cools down though I'll put it in the freezer and in a few days I will reheat it either there or the grill or whatever but anyhow again I, I'm really just trying to show the 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 steaming feature on the Ninja is a great is a is a great feature. And anyhow, I appreciate y'all watching my video in the kitchen with Jelly. I'll put some stuff up here for y'all to look at later. My big head will be over here somewhere for y'all to touch and subscribe. And then I'll put a video right here or Google will. Uh, YouTube will figure out what y'all want to watch next. And they'll put it, I'll put it, but they figure it out. It'll be about right there. But anyhow, in the kitchen with Jelly and his Ninja Foodie. Y'all come back to see me. Have a good night. Bye-bye.